So what we have here is some number 36 tarred bank line, um, and we're going to make a couple of Prusik loops, or Prusik loops. I don't know if it's Prusik or Prusik. This is my CRKT M, what is that, M2104G. I love these knives. I'll put a link to the Amazon um, page in the description. So we're just going to cut a couple pieces of this. Uh, this is about the length from my middle finger to the crease in my elbow, uh, just to give us some more line to play with. But the same thing, I'm going to bring these two ends together right here, and I'm just going to do that overhand knot to put that, close off that loop like that. Okay. And cinch that down. And it's, like I said, this is tarred bank line. It's got tar on it. Not that it's tired and southern, but you end up with that. And what we're going to do to make this the actual this is just a loop to actually make the prusik or the prusik however you want to say it um, you're going to drape it over like this bring it through once and you've got a lark's head right bring it through twice and we have the basic prusik and because this isn't used for climbing this is just used for um, holding a, our tarp taut on our ridge line. I'm going to dress this up a little bit. Pull this through. Tighten that down. You should end up with something that looks like this. And we have four twists here. One, two, three, four. And then this going over the top. But the point of the, the Prusik is to be able to slide when you need it to. So now that I have it dressed up a little bit and pulled tight, when you grab here, it slides along the rope. You see, I can slide it along my ridge line. But then when I'm ready to cinch my tarp on there, I put this through and get a toggle in. And then when you pull like this, it doesn't slip. And there it is, hanked up with both Prusiks on there. And we are ready for quick deployment. Mm -hmm.